Hello, we are live on GBC 24. This is the Showbiz segment. My name is Valerie Danso. Today on Showbiz, we'll be talking music. My first guest is a songwriter, a worship leader, and he is the founder of City of Worship International. We'll take a break on his music video. We'll come back and then start the conversation. So here's a break. Well, I've got to reach higher, higher places. Use me, Lord, cause, cause me to so so sky high. No giving up, no giving up, no turning back, no turning back. I'm pressing on the upward way every day. Welcome back. That's another higher level by Clarion Clarkwood. He he doubles as um, a songwriter, musician. He's like a cocktail of everything. He's in our studios right now. Hello, Clarion. Welcome to the studios of GBC24. Hi, Valerie. Thanks for having me. Pleasure is ours. So um, this music video, another high level. Yeah. When you listen to it and you watch the video, it's not like the regular kind of gospel music we hear. Yeah. It's a bit of funk in there. Yeah. What would you call your kind of music? Um, a mix of all kinds of music. Um, one great man in the UK was interviewed, a great musician, uh, Sir Lord Webber. He, he was interviewed and he was asked what type of music there is. And he said there's only two types of music, okay. good music or bad music. So I tried to do good music, hopefully. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then here, how would we call your music? We, we have new genres of music coming up now. I we do have all of that. I do all of that. I do all of that. I grew up mm. here. I do all of that. I do choirs. I do rap. I do reggae. I do the cools. I do the ballads. I do the mid tempos I do the hip lives, I do the I do anything that's good music. Any you see and you see, for me, music comes to me as an energy form. Okay. And okay. until it's out of me, I'm not free. Okay. That's how it is. So depends on how the music energy came to me, I have to let it out. Mm. And many a times when we try to change it, it doesn't work. Okay. And my music is absolutely fully centered on this Objective genitive and the subjective genitive of who Jesus Christ is. Okay. So everything I write. This song, for example, I live in the UK. There was love, and there's still a lot of knife murders and knife crimes and gangs and blah, 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 blah. So this whole idea was to create some sort of a musical political party okay. that's centered around love. Okay. And the change agent to come to bring to our communities was going to be the love. Love for humanity, love mm. for your neighbors love for everybody and that's what christ taught us to do okay yeah he's it's all about love in it love that's it all right how did you get into music a lot of people that we speak to say they were born into a musical home they had the inspiration from god how did yours start music got into me i didn't choose okay, music so that's different music chose me and if don't let me start please start <laughs> Music chose me. And yes, many of the people you may have interviewed who have said that since they were children, it's true. I, since childhood, I was. I studied at UST and most of my lecturers thought I was wasting my time in school. I was in the School of Engineering and when we sat the exams and I finished my questions, I will turn the back of the question paper and use the questions to write a song. So some of my lecturers okay. were like, what are you doing in this place? You know, and. Um, that's how it is. Like I said earlier, it's an energy form. It's like a pressure in your system. Until it's out, you are not out. Okay, so are you feeling pressured right now? Almost always. Okay, so can we let some of the pressure out? <laughs> Let's have you do an acapella. Let's have you do something. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. I see. Mm. Oh, you put me on the spot right there. So which one shall I do then? Into your throne. Into your we have room. the video of Into Your Throne, yes. so we'll have you do it. And when we finish, uh, we'll go and watch the video and then mm -hmm. compare it if you have the same energy in the video as you have on here. Okay, let me tell you a bit about that song, Into Your Throne. Into Your Throne. Into Your Throne Room is, um, is my testimony. See, many did not know that after, before and after I led worship, and I've stood on many platforms mm -hmm. with Benny Heen and all of us. Yes, uh, prior to my leading and after, I'll hear constantly accusing voices in my ears, telling me I'm a fake, that I call myself born again, I'm still insane, I'm still struggling with this, struggling with that. My background's been horrible, to be honest with you. I'm a sinner saved by grace, just as I said in my bio. 
So sometimes I contemplated suicide many times in the UK, but on one Easter Sunday after leading worship in Trinity Baptist Church, I was lying on my bed and it felt like a trance and I saw an angel of God just walk me into different rooms and I saw people from all nations, all backgrounds, mm. with all character defects you can think about. Mm. Some of the things we struggle about now and we're making so much noise about, I saw all kinds of character defects. In fact, I couldn't list them all because I was shocked. And there was this blood of Jesus Christ pleading for their prayers and their worship. From that day, those accusing voices that led me to suicide, that led me to drugs, that led me to crazy stuff, stuff women and all that stuff, broke off me because I understood that it is not on the premises of what I do shake it's okay to but it's on the premises of what Jesus has done for me okay so once I'm in Christ it's signed sealed delivered that's it okay. stepping behind the veil Jesus to worship you into your throne room hey I come we step behind the veil. When Christ died and blood touched the earth, the veil tore into two. There was no, nothing should hold back anybody from accessing the presence of God. By the way, nobody can teach anybody God. God has to be revealed. And Paul Tillich said, revelation has to be given and received. Otherwise, it's no revelation. Mm. So Christ has been revealed. And Christ is the ultimate revelation of God. So once we find him, or, uh, 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 sorry, once he finds us, <laughs> then nothing should hold us back. I don't even care what you did last night. That's not to give a guarantee for people to carry on in sin. No. But I don't even care. Just get on your knees. Get into the throne room. There's a blood that's speaking for you. There's a blood that's talking to God and say, God, I died for this one too. I died for that one too. I died for that one too. Wow. I told you it's going to be fun. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take a quick break yeah. and then watch the video of Into Your Throne Room and then come back and get chatting with Clarion. So here's a break, Into Your Throne Room. Welcome back. So, Claren, yes, you wanted to say something about this video. Was it shot in Ghana? No, this video was well, not shot. None of my videos been shot in Ghana so Why? far. In fact, I had a video shot in Ghana before I travelled to study for my masters in the UK. Um, uh, the title was, I think, a bay or something. They did fairly well, but I was away, so the producer and the promoters had um, they they had to put it somewhere. But hopefully, I'll take it back. But I'll tell you something little about this video. When we were about to shoot this video, I was trying to enact that biblical story of where the veil covered the temple separated the inner quarters from the outer quarters mm. so i had this veil cut out to cover the church building and uh, i mean to s split the church basically into two and everything was set props everything ready and when the video crew came unbelievers video crew came they shoot for x factor and the other so they came in they saw what's happening they heard the music they called me aside with the video director and said, you know what, Clarion, 
why don't we take this veil off? Because it's, it's blocking some beauty, it's blocking something. I said, no, I want to reenact to, so that people can follow what I'm trying to say. And they persuaded me and I gave in. And when we rolled back the veil, it was as if scales fell off my own eyes. Okay. I saw the beauty in where the priest stand to administer the sacrifices. You know, it was more of a, it was an All Saints church, so they got a place for priesthood. And God was like, this is exactly what happened. When the veil was removed, everybody has absolute access to me, regardless of where they are. Okay. You don't have to travel to any place to access God. God is accessible anytime, everywhere. Mm. Okay. So the Bible said the throne room, the tabernacle, is with man, is with us, is here now. Okay. Today I'm being preached to. I'm Am really I? Learning. Yes, yes, you are. Oh, don't start my preacher, man. Okay, no, let's, no, no, let's, not, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah. And let's go back to Clarion. So, yes. um, so you, you basically shuffle between Ghana and the UK. And other places. And other places. Mm. Mm. Okay, so tell us some of the differences. I mean, when you do administer here in Ghana mm. and when you go outside in terms of stage, in terms of playing live, tell us about it. <laughs> You're going to put me in a bit of trouble, but I'll speak. Having lived here and then God opening up door for me to study overseas for many years, living there with my family, I realized that most of, it's hopefully changing now, but most of the music done, or most of the music I grew up with and the genres, people respond to the beats before they respond to the message in the song. So... Isn't that what, isn't that what's supposed to be uh, uh, the norm? Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Now, when I traveled outside, I realized that you can be singing and doing everything you want to do. People are more particular about the content you're speaking before they move to the beat. So I went to a church, predominantly Caucasians. So I ministered my heart out. Everyone was just looking at me like that. And when I'm done, they stood up clapping for about five minutes, whatever. And I couldn't... You didn't understand what was happening? What was happening. It took me time to assimilate into the culture to understand that in the Western world, content is more important than extent. Okay, okay. And the challenge I'm finding, and I'm speaking to any church I work with, musicians I've been in Zambia, a few places I've been, is the, 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 the challenge we're having is we are obviously producing after our kind. You know, I was speaking to a young man in our, in our church. He's a music teacher in a private school. And I asked him, if I told you play me D minor harmonic scale on the piano, can you do it? He was like, what is that? He's a music teacher. And I asked him, so what do you teach the kids? He said, oh, you know, all the music on the stage and all those things, it's sort of, it's restricting, it, you see. It doesn't make you really flow. I said, no, you just been lazy. You just been lazy, I'm afraid. Look, when you have that information added to the talent you have to be able to play by ear, you're going to be dangerous. Okay. You're going to be able to interpret a lot of stuff. That's why I have high regard for people like Eric Antonio. Um, uh, what's the name of this man? Um, if I remember the names, I'll tell you. I'm speaking to most of my musician friends I grew up with. You cannot cut corners when it comes to medical science, for example. Yeah. You can't tell me that because you're a doctor, you want to be a doctor, you don't need a school, you don't need education. You're a liar. Okay. You can't practice. And that's the challenge I'm finding here. Mm. Look, my kids play. Uh, my son is going to play in grade three. And the things he's playing on the keys, scales, um, arpeggios, harmonic, is, is just baffling. Baffling. And for them, <laughs> let me tell you one other thing. In the UK, for example, in the States where I've worked a few with a few guys, playing keys, for example, or playing an instrument, they don't see that as talent. Because anybody who can do a sight reading can take it and play. Anybody who can do sight reading can play. But if you're able to do things outside of that, and you can still interpret and educate them with your ability to read, then you're on another different level. Mm. So I'm praying that the younger generation will not be held back by that slavery mentality that if you go on to 
like a music school to learn s the, the skills, blah, 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 is going to like, restrict you. No, no, no. It's rather going to free you. You're going to play with understanding. You, uh, uh, court chemistry, all of that. It will make sense when you're playing it. That's one of the things we do. Now, when it comes to live performances, uh, unfortunately, maybe we're getting there by way of our sound production and our lightning production and, uh, and even our technical crew. I've watched shows where you would think you're in the movie theater. Everything has been planned to the letter. So if, for example, the midst of the show, they want to show a particular video while that's going on, there's no delay. It they cut it fine. Mm. So in those areas, you don't say, oh, sorry, Auntie Valerie, you know, I was, no, 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 no. There's no, sorry that you'll be fired straight away. Okay. Straight away. Okay. So that's one of the things. I think that we, we should get increasingly working towards beginning to cut it fine and get more excellent at what we do and not trying to say, for example, in church, the Holy Spirit will take over. Shut up. Holy Spirit will take over <laughs> nothing. Do the work. Rehearse. Make sure it's good. Put 95% mm. of the time into practicing, getting it together, and then the Holy Spirit will come. Mm. When Solomon built the temple, in the beginning, it wasn't the Holy Spirit doing the work. Solomon got additions to do the work. Okay. And when he was ready, the Spirit came. Okay. Let us not hide behind the Spirit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Any upcoming projects are we working on? Any upcoming project, concerts, albums, tracks? What's happening? What should yes. we expect? First from of all, I'm here in Ghana this time on the invitation of my spiritual father, Bishop Charles Ochinasari. Mm. He's going to have a conference, Supernatural Empowerment Summit. This is my fourth year in a row, and I'm coming to work the music with the choirs and all that. It's going to be amazing. You're invited. And also, I've got some two short songs I want to shoot a video for. Second time in Ghana. Okay. Uh, one is a gas song, Bope. Uh, Bope. Yeah, 54 and plays a lot. And then also, To Me, it's another amazing song. And that's an aside, but hopefully at the end of this year or early next year, I'm going to release a brand new album. Okay. Do, yeah. do, you, do you have an idea what the title is yet? It's a secret, you know, because somebody, I believe that until the child is born, you don't name it. You have an idea of the name, but I want to keep the name. Okay. okay let me give you a clue. It's hashtag JLH. I'm sure the J is Jesus. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Clarion. We're excited to have you oh, here. We are you. looking forward Every to time. all the amazing stuff. And please, whilst you are here with your expertise, you could mm. incorporate into the young talents how they should be educated first instead of trying to cut corners. Where do we find you on social media if we want to follow you and get to know more about what you do? All my social media handles, Clarion Clarkwood, that's it. Clarion Clarkwood, Clarkwood one word. It. One word, you find me. Okay, on social, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, anything. Okay. Anything, you find me there. Okay. And I'm having some seminars at Paris Chapel as well. So you can come around, wherever church you belong to, come, let's learn together, let's share. Come and challenge my thoughts. Okay, and let's Clarion Clarkwood on all social media All social handles. media platform. My website, cityofworship.com. Cityofworship.com. Yes. Thank you very much for Thank you very much, Valerie. Clarion. Thank so you. So we'll God be blessing. looking out for you. Yes, indeed. Thank you for passing yes. through. We'll be speaking to Clarion Clarkwood. He doubles as a musician, songwriter, worship leader, and also the founder of City of Worship International. He's been talking to us about his music, his songs, another higher level into your throne room, and Nyamik Kamehu is out. Look for him on all social media platforms. He's on there as Clarion Clarkwood is one word. We'll take a break. When we come back, we are going to be speaking to my second guest, and he recorded a video that went viral. So here's a break. So 